What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over a very special weapon called the Meat Tenderizer. I'm going to be explaining how to get it, I'll be showing you the mods, and I'll give you a little demonstration of how strong this weapon is. Before we get into the video, make sure you're smashing that like button, that way the Fault 76 community can see this, and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. So before I show you the Meat Tenderizer and its mods, the way you obtain the Meat Tenderizer is you must first obtain the plan for it. And the way you obtain that is we have a seasonal event called Meat Week, and after completing the event, you have a 2% chance of the plan dropping. Once you get the plan, you can craft it and then roll legendary variants just like you would the fixer. So you can get them from doing events or through like the purveyor or something like that. But you must have this in order for the meat tenderizer to be dropping in your game. So, with that being said, let's get into the mods. And the tenderizer that I'm going to be presenting to you guys is the bloodied faster swing speed tenderizer. This weapon has three mods, which are also drops from the seasonal event meat week, so it does get kind of hard to kind of put this whole thing together. But starting with the first mod, we have the spicy one, which adds energy damage, which is that 16 over there. But it does have the lowest out of the base damage. Then we have our salty mod, which chance to cripple extra limb damage and improved damage, which is 195 over there. Then we have the pep root. Now the pep root is my favorite because it has a superior damage. And with this, I just want the max amount of damage I can get. Those are the mods. We don't have any paints or anything like that, which eventually we will, hopefully. But with that being said, let's get into the demonstrations. Now before we get into the demonstration, let it be known that I have no two-handed melee or melee weapon things on whatsoever. This is just raw damage from the bloody build. I, I didn't really feel like mixing this up because it does amazing damage without it already. So if you are a two-handed melee, this is going to be the weapon for you. So with that being said, let's go, let's go see what's up. We got BAM! Look at that guys. Boom. We'll do the regular hit. Regular hit. It just slays. Boom. 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 And that little dust is the pepper actually coming out of the out of the weapon. It's absolutely insane. And like again, I have no none of the melee perks on and the base damage right now. I think it's like 303, but I have adrenaline on, so it's doing 356 right now. This is Honestly, this is my favorite melee weapon that I have in the entire game right now. It's really rare. I don't ever see anyone ever using them. And again, it's a bloody faster swing speed. This damage on it, I think the only thing that could beat it is probably like the, what is it called? The Warglaive or something like that. If I had a bloody faster swing speed Warglaive, oh, that would be my weapon. But you've seen what it can do against ghouls. Let's go to a bigger target. Now we're at Death Claw Island, and we're gonna see how well this fares against a Death Claw. Look at that, guys. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Holy crap. If you are a melee build, what are you doing without one of these? Like, this is insane damage. Again, let's see. 312. That is because, again, whenever I hit the adrenaline, it will shoot up my damage. Now, let's find another target. And the next target on my list is none other than the Grafton Monster. Let's go! Oh, God. Huh. Yes, yes. So this is regular attack, heavy attack. Boom. Boom. Y'all see how fast this swings? That's insane. When you get a heavy two-handed weapon that's usually slow, and you get that faster swing speed on it, oh, my gosh, these weapons just, they destroy anything in their path. Let's find another target. And now we have the Scorch piece here to test it on. And as, again guys, as you can see, this just absolutely destroys. Now if you did have the melee perks on, this would work so much better, but for me, it does just fine. I'm a commando build with <laughs> no melee perks on, but I know the way of the bloodied. Now on to the next target. And the next enemies on my list are the Super Mutants from West Tech. Let's get into it. Boom. 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 Look at the damage, guys. This is insane. For not having any melee perks or anything. Watch this. Even in vats. Whoosh. Whoosh. 
This is a must to have, guys. If you are a melee user, again, I absolutely love it. I've been playing for over 2,000 hours, and again, this is my favorite out of all the two-handed weapons. It absolutely destroys. And again, it's just rare. You don't ever see anyone running around with a meat tenderizer, which is a cool feeling to have whenever you're the only one running around with a meat tenderizer. So, boom. If you like the Fault 76 content, guys, make sure you're pressing the like button. Subscribe for more Fault 76 content. And I shall see y'all in the next one. Peace.